And hello, my friends. This is Max with High Camp. First off, I apologize for being in the backyard again. <clears throat> However, I guess you all know if you watched my last video, I'm kind of without a vehicle for a little bit, probably till tomorrow or Friday. <clears throat> this is Wednesday. And I do apologize for all the noise because everybody and their brother seems to be mowing their grass today. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to set up my hammock again, except the last time I set it up with my 10 by 10 AquaQuest tarp and my hammock is an 11 foot hammock. It didn't work. So what I'm going to do today is I got a new tarp. I got a 12 by 12. I don't know if you can read it or not. It's a chill gorilla. I think there's a base camp rain fly and it's 12 by 12 feet. Or if you want to do it uh, in uh, for the UK, it's three by three. So, anyway, what surprised me is, is this chill gorilla is lighter. It's 12 by 12, but it's lighter than my 10 by 10. Now it is made out of a lighter material. So that's not a big deal, as long as it holds up well. So uh, as you know, I'm just getting into hammock camping, so I'm no professional on this at all. But I am not going to film me setting up the hammock or the tarp. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little film step by step on each steps I take to set up the configurations that I like to use. Well, that I'm going to like to use. And the fact is that these configurations work seamlessly changing from one configuration to another. So that I like a lot. So I've been doing a lot of research on this and this is what I've come up with. Okay, first of all, the components I'm going to be using is my 12 by 12 Chill Gorilla. And Chill Gorilla, if you're watching, don't put white logos on a tarp that's the color to blend in. That doesn't blend in. Make it black or make it brown, please. Other than that, I'm pleased with the tarp so far. Um, this tarp is a half pound lighter than my 10 by 10. That's that's significant weight right there. Okay, the 12 by 12 tarp, two two foot bungee cords, two guy lines with carabiners, eight stakes. These little six inches, I believe they are, aluminum. It's a triangular design. I like those, nice and light. Here's where I'm going to depart from the usual. Instead of using paracord for a guy line, I'm using mule tape. Mule tape, as you know, is, uh, is it's a nylon tape that's used for pulling wires through conduit. Um, this is 3 8 inch mule tape. It's 3 8 inch wide, but it's flat. So it causes less wear on the tarp, from what I'm told. And it only weighs one ounce more than the comparable amount of paracord. That surprised me, and it doesn't stretch. 
like paracord does. So that <coughs> one night eyes figure eight tie because I'm not the best at tying knots. I'm only, I'm only good at a couple of them. Yeah, then, of course, my Everest 11 foot tarp, or 11 foot hammock. And uh, this is not the best hammock in the world, but it does have a mosquito screen, and I wanted to not spend a ton of money getting set up. It's not the cheapest, and it is not the most expensive. And of course, the two tree straps for the Everest. And that's everything. So, let's get to it. Okay, the guy lines up and around my uh, eight foot stump <laughs> in my backyard and it runs across and ties off to my deck. <laughs> That's the only place I have to tie off. Now, my hang is not going to be perfect here because the distance between my deck and this stump is 18 feet. So it's three feet over the maximum what you're supposed to hang an 11 foot hammock. Okay, and I have my two press it knots made out of bank line on the line. And there's the other one. And of course, right here, we got a slip knot and the the figure nine you wrap it around one side pull it tight and put it through the little ratchet teeth on the bottom here no knot required and it holds it if you want to you can tie a tie another line up here to tie it off but I really like the idea of using the mule tape over the paracord and it stretches very little okay the hammock is up and as you can see that is nowhere near a 30 degree hang because it's way too long But that's the Everest hammock right there. So stick around a moment. And I put a couple of bungee cords between the, the hammock loops on the top and the ridge line to hold the mosquito net up. Okay, tarps up. You can see on the ridge line, I just have a carabiner hooked into the press head on each end, and the knight, the knot, pulled back until the type tarp is good and taut across the ridge. And there's the 12 by 12 setup with the hammock completely enclosed. The doors closed on each end. And the peak on the inside with the closed door and the hammock. And how I got that staked out is the end, uh, the end grommet or tie-out point. I don't put anything on that. On the three on the side, 
I have bungee cords and then staked out close to the ground on each side. To tie doors closed, I got a small carabiner on the top and on the bottom. There's that big old chill gorilla that they need to subdue that. They really do. It would please me if they would, but I'm gonna figure out a way to do that myself. But that's with complete setup, only six stakes, with closed doors. Yeah, it was only a matter of time before the air conditioner on the house kicked on, so it's over there buzzing away. But anyway, here's where the bungee cords come in. Got the doors open on each end, or you can just have it open on one end. You just use the bungee cord to stretch between the two doors and hold them back. And both ends are open. Of course, now I would restake this a little bit to make sure it was tight. But I think you get the general idea where I'm going with this. So that's with the doors open. And at last but not least, there's porch mode. And all I did to do that was take the tie outs from the three pegs on this side of the carabiner to the bungee cord, a couple of wraps around the pole, and take it down to the ground right there. So that's the third configuration I can do with no real modifications. All I got to do is I, I even left my pegs or my stakes in the ground. There's one there if you can see it. Yeah, there's another one there and there's the other one over there. I just took those loose, pulled it out, and I got a porch. And if I need to configure it back, no problem. Just take off the poles and put it back on the same pegs, the same pegs, stakes, whatever you want to call it. So, and in good weather, that's probably the configuration I'm going to use 99% of the time. And close it up, you get in hard rain, or just close it up on one end if the rain's coming from that direction. So, that's my setup, and that's what I'm going to use. Like I say, I'm, <laughs> I am not a professional <laughs> amateur at all. I'm sure people got better ways to do this than what I've done, but it works for me, at least until I try it out, and I will try it out right here in the backyard. I can sit under here, I can cook under here, I can do whatever I need to do. My bedroom, my living room, my kitchen, for the outdoors. So, that's it until next time. So this is Max with High Camp. Bye for now.